right, welcome to the studio again. I just did this whole talking to you guys thing and the camera wasn't recording. So, I gotta get on my game. I lost a couple days worth of footage because I accidentally deleted a memory card while well, formatted it. Horrible, horrible. Um, so I gotta get back on my game. Man, I still have yesterday's vlog to edit so I don't know when I'm gonna get to that. I'm helping a friend build a web page and I'm getting pretty close to the final stage where we need to meet again on that. Lots of little things going on. Um, I'm excited for Friday. Friday we head over to Vancouver again and I go get the Jeep deckled and then we head to uh, Harrison Lake to camp overnight on Friday night and then come back Saturday. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Meeting up with the boys from Trail Skins. They're doing my deckling for me. They're awesome. Uh, so looking forward to that. So tonight I gotta figure out, I think I need to put a kitchen in the Jeep because right now there isn't one in the Jeep. So I gotta get a kitchen in the Jeep and then I don't have any drawer slides. I could pilfer the drawer slides from the other galvanized one, maybe. Put together one of the new ones. We'll see how that works tonight. Maybe we'll do that. All right, I'm off to one net to go do some work now. Uh, I'm gonna be there most of the day working on computers and talking to people. So I'll catch you guys after work. Man, there's stuff still set up in here from last night, see? I had such a good time hanging out with Dylan. I love that guy. Dylan, you're a fantastic dude. If you guys don't know who he is, check out, uh, if you listen to The Zone 91.3, 91.3 here in Victoria, if you look up like The Zone 91.3, and you can actually listen to them live. He's the morning show host there, so uh, you really, he's pretty funny. But anyway, go check them out. You can listen to The Zone from anywhere. It's the power of the internet. <clears throat> All right, now I'm actually out of here. I love doing work with that. I had a fun day of meetings, got a lot of stuff done, some research, I got to pull out some old data out of my Evernote to look at some of my old stuff. That was a really fun exercise to look back at some of the stuff I'd created over the last few years and kind of pull some knowledge out of it. It was great, it was a really fun task. But it got me thinking, well I was think, thinking two things, but we're talking about one right now. So it got me thinking about the fact that you as you as a person, you have the ability to influence what happens around you. You have the ability to influence what people around you are like. You know, it's so easy for us to get to a point where we allow everyone else to influence us and we forget that we have the ability ourselves to influence everything around us and all the people around us. And I know, I know it gets, it's hard. I know it's hard to think that you constantly have to be influencing the people around you. But at the end of the day, someone's really upset and honky at people. I do not understand what's happening. You know, it's easy for us to get upset about the fact that people around us are so negative, people around us are so bossy, people talk down to me, people, you know, you can make all these excuses for how you are acting or feeling because of what everyone else is like. And I call bull crap on that. It's really up to you how you take all that influence. You're the one that's choosing to take that, but you have the ability to impact and improve and change it. That's the thing I think people forget on a constant basis is you don't have to accept all that energy. You can be how you want to be. You don't have to accept that that person's talking down to you. It doesn't mean you have to fight back and be like, dude, you're talking down to me and everything. It just means you don't have to let it affect you. It has everything to do with who they are. A great point and example is if you walk into a room full of people to have a meeting, say, and you come in with a certain energy, you have the ability to impact 
how that meeting happens, how happy everyone is, how fun it is, how scared they are, how timid they are to bring up ideas, your energy, the way you come in, your attitude as to how you come into the room dictates a lot of or has influence on how that room is going to react. And I find that's true. The stronger your personality is, the more confident you are, the more that becomes a reality. So if I was to encourage you guys to do any one thing, it's constantly be evaluating yourself and constantly be evaluating how you're impacting or influencing the people you're with, the projects you're on, all that stuff. It's up to you to set all that out in motion the way you want it to go. If you just sit and complain about it, you're like every other person on the planet. You're just letting everyone else influence everything and you're not actually trying to influence anything. You're not trying to make it better. You're just accepting the bad or the whatever the whatever their, the influence everyone else in the room is trying to put in there. So remember, you, in, you can influence your situation. You can influence the people in your life. It all depends on how you are when you go in there, what your mindset is when you go in there. And you can change your mindset to impact all those things in a positive way. That's today's chat. You know, it's funny, I find myself in the car a lot just having these little chats with you guys. Because it's like, I'm driving, I'm thinking about all this stuff, my brain doesn't shut off, it constantly thinks. So, I should have like a whole channel that's like, car chats with Al. <laughs> wow, traffic's really slow here right now, and I don't get why. Oh well. Alright, see you guys tomorrow.